Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching. Well today we get to check off another bucket list gun, which is always a good thing. So I've legitimately been looking at these things for years and I recently just got one and I think it's probably the coolest one I've ever seen. And here it is, this is the Henry Allweather Lever Action 4570 and I've never been sexually attracted to a gun until now. Is this thing beautiful or what? Let's see if we can flip it, John Wayne style. Shut up, I'm still working on it. And yes, the only reason I got this thing is for its T-Rex killing capabilities. So like I said, this is the Henry Allweather Lever Action 4570. I'll go ahead and give you guys another close up look at this thing. Such a nice looking gun. Probably the most beautiful gun I've ever owned. Definitely is in my opinion, not even close. And like I said, it's a gun that I've always wanted. So it was kind of an accident how I ended up with the Henry. I was looking at the Marlin 1895 Dark Series forever because those guns are super cool right out of the box, but they're really hard to find right now and they're way overpriced if you can even find them. So kind of a bad investment. And then I talked to a couple gun tubers and Instagrammers who told me that the Henry is just as good, if not better. So I went with this one and I'm glad I did because this thing is freaking ridiculous. So the 4570 is obviously no slouch as you can see by looking at that giant sucker. And I haven't shot this gun yet. So we're gonna experience this for the first time together. Literally the only thing I don't like about this gun is it doesn't have the big loop lever. So I can't do all the cool flip tricks and stuff. I guess we could try it with two fingers. Not bad. <laughs> All right. That's not as bad as I thought it would be. That might be a light load, but that's definitely not the worst recoil. All right, this is the 325 grain Hornady Lever Evolution. This one's going like almost a thousand feet per second faster than the Remington was, so. Oh yeah. Way more recoil. <laughs> so. That's what people are talking about when they say the 4570 kicks like a mule because that was a huge difference from the Remington. Felt like a different caliber. All right, next up we have the 300 grain Federal Fusion. Like I said, we're going heaviest to lightest, so this is lighter than the last two were. Probably a little less recoil than the last one, but more than the first one, so right in the middle. And the last one that we have is another 300 grain bullet. This is Precision One, which I've never heard of, but it's also going about 2,000 feet per second. So, see what it does. Might be the most recoil out of all of them. That one actually made me take a step back. <laughs> So pretty much every one of them except the Remington core lock kick like a mule, that's for sure. All right, let's try to put one on each of our steel targets and then we'll start shooting some stuff. Holy crap. I've never seen that target take an impact like that. That was ridiculous. Let's try the little gong. <laughs> I absolutely love this thing. All right, we got three different bullets in the gun and three watermelons down there. Since the 4570 can kill a T-Rex, watermelons should be no problem. Starting with the Federal Fusion. <laughs> that might be one of the best watermelon explosions we've ever had. I think so. <laughs> that was even better. So that was the Precision One. And I lost my third watermelon. Let me go set it back up. That Precision One sent watermelon chunks all the way past me, like 20 yards away. So let's try the Hornady, see if it's any better. <laughs> I think the Precision One by far had the biggest watermelon explosion, whatever that means. We haven't taken out a cinder block wall in a while. Let's try it with the 4570. One more. Ah, it looks like it's just blowing right through them. Let's put a couple more on it. There we go. This thing is an absolute destruction device. Might be my new favorite gun for now. Let's 
try a couple old spray paint cans. This red dot's not even zeroed, so this might be pretty embarrassing, but we'll try. I think I hit it. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's the reaction I was looking for. Tell you what, I think this might be my new favorite gun, at least for now. I don't remember the last time I had this much fun shooting. It's an absolute blast. But a couple months ago, I got these bowling pins, and every time I bring them out, I can never manage to knock them all down and bowl a strike. So let's see if the big old 4570 can get the job done and take all these bowling pins down with one shot. Yeah! <laughs> Every time. <laughs> I guess I need to secure that target down when I come out with something big like this because it just knocks it over every time. And by the way, look at what the 4570 did to our bowling pin. So there's the entrance hole right there, and that is the exit hole. <laughs> I've shot these things with all kinds of calibers. I've never seen a result like that. Wow. Well, I'm glad the camera can only see from the waist up because this gun gives me a bump. All right, everybody. Well, that is going to conclude our first video on my T-Rex rifle, the Henry All-Weather Lever Action 4570. I'll go ahead and give you guys one more look at this thing just to make you jealous before I go. Again, I just can't get over how cool this gun looks. I know looks aren't everything, uh, but with guns like this, it kind of is. So I'm going to take this bad boy home and clean it. And yes, I am going to baby this gun because that's what I do with all my new guns. And then I'll put it in the safe in six months and probably never clean it again. So obviously my John Wayne skills need some work. I'm not really a lever gun guy. I've only shot him a handful of times and I'm not a cowboy, at least not yet. But with this thing, we're on our way there. So like I said, I've always wanted one of these lever action 4570s and I don't think I could have gotten a cooler one. This video was so much fun to make, such a fun gun to shoot. And again, it's just the coolest looking gun that I have by far. So hope you all enjoyed the video as much as I did. If you enjoyed it, please let me know down in the comments below. As always, hit that like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.